still plus politics. Now, Senator Biodun Olujimi, representing Ekiti South Senatorial District in the Senate in Ado Ekiti, indicated her interest to contest the state governorship election slated for June 18, 2022. Olujimi and eight other women aspirants are among the 17 people who have so far obtained nomination forms and had been screened by the People's Democratic Party at the National Secretariat in Abuja. Well, joining us to discuss this is the Kitty State Chairman Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, Ifedayo Iyaniwura. Thank you very much, Mr. Iyaniwura, for joining us. It's nice to be here with you. All right. Well, let's start by looking at the fact that we have more women uh, who are interested, uh, who have thrown their hats into the ring to be part of the governorship elections in Ekiti State. Um, over time, there, there have been cases where women uh, have been begged to get involved in politics, but we seem to be seeing a, a U-turn in Ekiti State. What, could you th what would you say is responsible for that? If I can tell you clearly, you mean women they are participating in the politics in the United States? Yes. What what could have caused the increase in the number of women who are you know vying for the office of the governor? Oh, okay. Well, uh, just like you know that politics is a game of uh, partisanship, and uh, I must tell you this that uh, it's uh, fantastic to see how our women are showing more interest in that system right now. Uh, just like you know that uh, most of these political parties have rolled out their activities out, uh, women are also outside right there participating, also jointly for tickets of governorship in the state in these political parties. Right? For instance, now, we have a party where we have about seven women already purchased a form for, for the party ticket mm -hmm. and tend to applicable to uh, Another pair of political parties, too, in which we have about two or three women also already just paid for tickets. Mm -hmm. So they are part, they are, their involvement, as we speak right now, is so fantastic. And uh, we, we men, too, we are not ready for any discrimination of gender, whatever. We are going to make the world of the team a level playing ground. So, and uh, I must commend political parties as well. The political parties give room for this to, uh, for us to be able to say. You know, it may come to know that all these political parties give women in their post recognition, utmost respect, and above all, they have been taking authority in the scheme of things. Mm -hmm. For instance, now, at every election, the amount a male contestant will pay for the male form is different from what a female contestant will pay. So all this are as well encouraging our women to jump policy. Really? So, you, so, so we, we hold, hold on, Mr. Yannick Wura. Did you say that the amount that, that the men would pay to pick up their tickets would be different from what the women are paying? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I can't really hear you. Yeah, I'm asking because I heard you say something like the amount of money that the women have to pay for their tickets will be different from what the men are paying. Is that what it is in a kitty state? Yeah. Can you hear me? Hello, I, I can hardly really hear you. Well, I, you just said something about the, 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 the amount of money that women pay for the tickets is different from that of the men. So I'm asking, is this what the parties are doing in Equity State or is it what the parties do na uh, nationwide? Yeah, that, that's political. That lies in the honor's lies in the heart of the political party. Uh, uh, it's all the way of encouraging the, the, the women to join political parties and be able to get them on in college do more in party policies. And this is why this kind has always been given today. At every point of election, female contestants pay lesser than what a male contestant will pay. So we see that as an encouragement for them to come in and be applicable to almost all the political parties in a year. Okay, let, let me push you further. Um... It's very interesting, like you said, it's fantastic that more women are throwing their hats into the ring. But does that also um, amount to the number of people who are going to stand by them? Because that's another problem. 
You can have this many women pushing and jostling for that office, but how good is their following? Um, what is the strength that they bring to the party? Um, will we see a replication of women standing by those women and men also um, giving them their votes? Or are we just going to see the party foist a man over the heads of these many women? Well, I can, if I can hear you clearly, we tend to, we tend to call the strength of women in party politics. Yes. And how they are being accommodated by men in this mm -hmm. party court. Well, let me, let me say the clearly that these women in party politics, if they have never been accommodated, they will never stay there. Blow me right in the party. The number of women in party politics of today has now been more than the one we've been having in the past. This is because men accommodate them a lot, and there is a way of form of encouragement for them as well. If it's not fashionable, of course, you will not stay them there. Because we know that nation building is a collective responsibility of good gender. So it couldn't be a barrier to say, Somebody is a woman. So it means that such a person to take a back seat. We all have a role to play, irrespective of our gender. And we have come to realize this as party leaders. This is why we make sure that having our women in politics in our party code encourages the system more ever than before. And we are seeing the results now because in the past, what we see is we only have women as a supporters of one male contestant or not. But now, Women are putting themselves out to contend for an election and you will pay for nomination form for that matter. But so are, but are women, are women the within the party supporting those same women who are putting themselves forward for the office? Because yes, those women who are, uh, are sh putting themselves forward might be as good as the men, but have they been able to win the confidence of both men and women in those parties to be able to line up behind them? This is my question. I can, play, I can hear you clearly. So I'm saying, as much as the parties are accommodating the women and giving them an opportunity, have this, these same women been able to gain the confidence of other party members, both male and female, to support them when the time comes? Well, well you know, actually, uh, polling is a game of numbers. And uh, it's all about acceptability of yours in the house of the electorate. Your chance as a woman to take up in the political party now depends on your deeds, how good you are to the people. You know, it's a game where people decide the fate. So nobody can impose anybody on anyone. But what matters most is, if you believe so much in yourself as a woman, you come out first and you see, you see, the enjoy, you enjoy the support of both your co women and men as well. So but what matters most is what parties are trying to project now is we are abolishing this issue of discrimination between male and female when it comes to issue of party policy. Because we all are aware that we have our role to play when it comes to issue of mutual building. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't be a barrier for one to be a male or for one to be a female. What that means is for us to all be unstable to see how to move the nation forward. And this is why we have always made sure and, and ensure that our women in party policy will always be encouraged more. We are doing that. This, well, the level we have today now is I don't believe it's more encouraging. But we are still working on, 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 on modality in which can make the policies more attractive for our women. Just the same way we've seen our men in politics. Okay, finally, Thank before you. I let you go, because we're out of time, um, I, I was at uh, the Anambra elections, and I noticed, one thing that I noticed was that um, of all the people that, uh, you know, were running for that particular office uh, for governor, it was only the Pe People's Democratic Party that had a running mate that was a woman. Every other person uh, and every other party had male running mates, every other governorship candidate on the different parties had male running mates. It was just the People's Democratic Party. And now in Ekiti State, the PDP has already recorded eight women who have thrown their hearts into the ring. 
Could what happened in Anambra be a representation of what the political parties in Nigeria think of women? Because on paper, even you are trying to be very diplomatic about this, but in reality, the realities that we see every single day in this country, do women stand a chance, even if they are pushed till tomorrow in the political parties? Will we not see men emerge again as the flag bearers without a woman on that ticket? Can you hear me? Uh, Fedaya, can you hear me? Oh, I think that we have lost that connection. Um, but uh, Ifedaya um, is, uh, Iyanawura is of IPAC in Ekiti State. Uh, apologies for that disconnection there. But thank you all for staying with us. It's been Plus Politics. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. And thank you all for watching. I am Mary Anacone. Have a good evening.